Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Fremont Brewing Company. They're out of Washington State. This is their head full of fresh hops. Uh, and let's see, it says fresh hop hazy IPA. I don't know if it's telling us what it were. It doesn't have on there what hops they are using that I can see. This is written in the descriptions. Beer Abbott has got Mosaic and you cannot, so I don't know if they've got different. Let's see how many different variations of the head full of fresh hops I have. Pardon the big mouth dog next door, he's uh, out there barking at his shadow. Only seen one list of here, head full of fresh hops, and it says mosaic and talus, uh, unless there are some other retired ones. Let's see what it says here, 6.8. I guess that I guess that one is it. Uh, it says here, pit full of fresh hops starts with a select fresh hops harvested in the Yakima and loaded into the brew kettle within 24 hours of harvest, so it'd be a wet hop uh, beer. Fresh hop beer signal in the harvest season in the Pacific Northwest are on the height of our brewing year. Friends bring happiness into your life. Uh, best friends bring fresh hop beer. Yeah. Down and Dirty Two Row Pale Ale, White Wheat, Rolled Oats, and Flaked Wheat with Fresh Mosaic and Talus Hops. And that's what they're saying this beer has at Beer Advocate. Uh, over to Untapped. Uh, and they have the same commercial description it looks like. Uh, and now they're saying white wheat with mosaic and eucanot hops and lactose. So and, and the picture at the top is different than what the pictures are on the can here. So I can't guarantee you if the hop information is correct since it's not written on the can here, guys. This was sent to me by Neil, uh, and it has packaged on 929 of 20. So uh, thanks, Neil. I do appreciate it. Uh, 6.8%, no IBUs, uh, big 16 ounce can, and, and it is print, a printed can, so they wasted their money on printing up a can, so Fremont Brewing. Anyway, that's all we need to talk about, so let's get it into the glass and see what we got going on with this one. Uh, they're calling it a New England style beer. It's not claiming that on the can. It is probably hazy coming out of the can. And we'll do the little swirl swirl before I get a whole lot in the glass, which will intensify that head, I would think. All right. Oh, I can smell it already. Very nice. Two fingers of head on there. Wow, that looks like a glass of orange juice there, guys. I'm impressed. Not getting any light at all. That's an impressive looking beer there. And like I said, I got a whip of the the beer, the hops in it. Just by pointing it, I can almost smell it from here. Wow. Pretty intense. Let's get it to the nose. Wow. Yeah, big hop aroma. Big time hop aroma. 
grapefruit, pine, nice and citrusy. Maybe some tro tropical fruit notes. Maybe a little oranges in there. That's pretty, pretty damn good aroma. Wow. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Neil. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Big soapy bubbles on the side here, so I don't think that head's going to stick around very long. Nice and creamy on top, though. Very nice. Very pleasant hop aroma and taste. Fine. Grapefruit. Hint of some oranges. Maybe even a little lemon zest. Alcohol well hidden. Super tasty. That's a delicious beer. I would probably buy that beer. It's a little it's a little stronger on the IBUs. The bitterness is is up a little bit more than uh, a lot of the uh, New England style beers are. I don't think it's been brewed with lactose. It doesn't taste sweet enough for that. So I don't think the description on Untapped is correct because it did not mention that uh, on Beer Advocate having lactose in the ingredients, and it doesn't taste like it has lactose in it to me. Not quite sweet enough, and we've got a little bit too much IBUs in there. A little bit strong on the IBUs. So, back in pour going. Very nice. Of course, I don't mind a, a bitter double IPA. Well, any double I, a bitter IPA. It's only 6.8%, but... It's, it tastes like it's got a substantial IBU on this one. Uh, I would think it's just, it would be in the 70, at least the 70 IBUs on this beer with what I'm tasting. So, don't think there's any lactose in it, but that's just my guess. So, it's right out of the fridge. Let me go sip on it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while. Very nice slices up on the guys. Very tasty beer. Big IBUs on this beer. Uh, it has a substantial bitterness to it, uh, but it is a tasty beer. If you're used to drinking bitter beers, uh, I hate to call it a bitter beer, but I think the uh, the IBUs are a, a little strong for a 6.8 percenter, uh, but it is a tasty beer. I'm used to drinking bitter beers. Uh, I've drank beers that have IBUs well over 100, uh, so... Uh, it's a tasty beer. It is. Uh, and I would, like I said, uh, being 6.8%, it's close enough to me for my go-to 7% range that I would probably purchase this beer. I don't think it's outstanding or world-class. You may disagree with me if you're able to get this beer and been drinking this beer. Uh, but it is a tasty beer. Final choke. Very enjoyable beer. I think the alcohol is well hidden. I think it's a well-made beer. It's a tasty beer, guys. Uh, no doubt about it. Uh, I'm going to give it an A-, but I'm going to give it the upper end of the A-. I'm going to give it a 94. Uh, one, one number away from being a solid A beer. Just because of the IBUs. I think it's a little strong on the IBUs. But uh, other than that, it's a tasty beer. And I would spend my money on it. Uh, if it was available here. So once again, thanks to Neil for sending it to me. Uh, over to Beer Advent, they say 93. I'm real close to that grade. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.1. A uh, little lower grade there. It's just barely over into their A- minus scale. Uh, I'm giving it a couple more notches up above that, but not quite to the solid A category. So, uh, that being said, if you've had heads full of fresh hops from Fremont Brewery, let me know what you think. Uh, until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.